All right, 10.6, find segment lengths in circles. Okay, segments of a... When two chords intersect in the interior of a circle, each... Oops, <laughs> each chord, not corded. Each chord is divided into two segments called segments of the chord. So this and this would be segments of a chord. This and this would be segments of a chord. All right, a secant segment... A secant segment is a segment that contains a chord of a circle and has exactly one endpoint outside the circle. So for example, this would be a secant segment. It contains a chord and has one endpoint outside the circle. This would also be a secant segment. An external segment. An external segment is the part of a secant segment that is outside the circle. So this would be an external segment because it's outside the circle. This would also be an external segment. All right, theorem 10.14, segments of chords theorem. Okay, if two chords intersect in the interior of a circle, then the product of the lengths of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the segments of the other chord. So basically, if you have these two chords intersecting, this times this equals this times this. So EA times EB equals EC times ED. Okay? All right, so for example, in this case, NK times NJ equals NL times NM. So you can plug in all the values. X, uh, X times uh, X plus 5 equals um, X plus 3 times X plus 1. You can distribute the X over here, get uh, X squared plus 5X. I'm going to FOIL off to the side because they don't give us much space. So x squared plus x plus 3x plus 3 combined like terms x squared plus 4x plus 3. So you got x squared plus 4x plus 3. If you subtract x squared from both sides that goes away. I'm also going to subtract 4x from both sides. So x equals 3. Now all we have to do is plug in stuff to find ml. ml is going to be x plus 3, that's the segment, plus x plus 1. I'll plug in 3, so I got 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1, that's 10. And over here, jk, we have x plus x plus 5. So 3 plus 3 plus 5, so 11. All right? Okay, let's go on to page 2. Okay. If two secant segments share the same endpoint outside a circle, then the product of the lengths of one secant segment and its, and its external segment equals the product of the lengths of the other secant segment and its external segment. So in this case, EA times EB. That's the whole thing. So this times the whole thing equals EC times ED. So it's not like um, the, uh, uh, what you call it, the segments of chords theorem, where this times this equals this times this. It's the external segment times the entire segment, and the external segment times the, the entire segment. Let's do an example. All right, find the value of x here. RQ times RP equals RS times RT. So we have 6 times 6 plus 4, remember the whole segment, equals 5 times x plus 5. And this is theorem 10.15. 6 times 10 is 60. I'll distribute the 5, 5x plus 25. I'm going to insert a step. If I subtract 25 from both sides, I'm going to get 35 equals 5x. x equals 7. Okay. All right, you guys can do the checkpoint. Let's go on to page 3. All right. 
If a secant and a tangent segment share an, share an endpoint outside a circle, then the product of the links of the secant segment and its external segment equals the square of the length of the tangent segment. All right, so EA, that's the tangent segment, squared equals EC times ED. So the external segment times the whole thing. So, for example, in this figure, RQ squared equals RS times RT. So, 14 squared equals X times X plus 12, because the whole thing is X plus 12. This is theorem 10.16. 14 squared is, uh, let me see, 196. Um, I'm going to distribute the X, X squared plus 12X. Now we're going to form a quadratic. All right, now, this is where you've got to remember some stuff from algebra. The quadratic formula is negative B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Here's A, B, and C. Plug everything in. So you've got negative B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C, all over 2A. All right. This is where I'm going to insert a few steps. 144 plus 4 times 196, 784. Okay. Now, the reason um, it's positive is because a negative times a negative is a positive. Okay. 784 plus 144. 928. So I've got negative 12 plus minus square root of 928 over 2. 928 um, let's see here, I believe you can pull out a 4, which is 2 and 2, 2, let's see here, I'll divide it this way, Two thirty-two. Two thirty-three. we've got a 2 and 1, 1, 6, another 2 and... 58, another 2, 29, and 29 is prime. Okay, so I can pull out a 2, another 2, and I'm left with 58 inside the square root. 2 times 2 is 4. So I've got negative 6 plus minus 2 root 58. Negative 6 plus minus 2 root 58. Links cannot be negative. So use the positive solution. X equals negative 6 plus 2 root 58, which, if we put in a calculator, square root of 58 times 2 minus 6, 9.23. So RS is about 9.23. Alright, you guys can do the checkpoint. Let's go on to page 4. All right, you are standing at point C, 45 feet from Point State Park Fountain in, P in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The distance from you to a point of tangency on the fountain is 105 feet. Find the distance CA between you and your friend at point A. Okay, so this is kind of dark. I'm going to redraw it over here.
Okay. This is 105 feet. This is 45 feet. Okay. So, if you guys remember, um, CB times CA equals CD squared. CB times CA equals CD squared. Okay, now CB, it says, is 45. And CD is 105. All right, I'm going to add in a step. So I have 45 times CA, 105 squared. One ten twenty five divided by forty five two forty five. So you are two hundred and forty five feet from your friend. All right. And you can do the checkpoint, that's all.